out with me. I might have to move back. Stretch your claws like a cat. Yeah, so we're stretching our claws. This is a yoga position. And we're stretching this morning. And then I might say, can you move forward like a lion? Can you roar like a lion? And then we come forward and say, roar. And that's another yoga move for us, the lion. And you can stick out your tongue at the end. What about, can you be a tree with me? That's a standing up one. So there's some wonderful yoga moves that we can try this morning as a stretching to get ourselves ready for some music making. Try it with me, let's try those ones again. Can you stretch your arms out like a cat? Can you make your arms stretch out on the mat with me? Can you do what I do? Can you roar forward like a lion? Here we go. Can you make yourself into a cow shape? I might turn sideways so you can see me. And the cow, can you make yourself into a cow like me and say, Moo, moo, moo. And now let's try and be a cat arching our back. Can you be a cat arching your back? Yeah. Let's go from cow to cat. Let's go from cat. Can you be a cow? Moo! And then a cat? Meow! Can you be a cow and a cat? Let's try it one more time. Moo! Meow! Can you make a butterfly with your legs? Here's my butterfly. See? Put your feet together and your butterfly wings are your knees. Let's see if we can flap our wings. Can you flap your wings, butterfly? Flap your wings. Flap, 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 flap. Can you stretch your feet out in front? Mm, what animal could this be? Can you run really fast like a leopard? Or a cheetah. Run, 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 run. Run your legs. Run, cheetah, run. And that's animal yoga. Music style. Isn't that fun? We didn't even do the tree. Let's do the tree. Can you be a tree with me? We have to stand very still. And then we can practice this milestone of standing on one leg. Okay, here we go. Can you be a tree? Maybe put your hands on your hips and try lifting one. There we go. Do I look like a tree? Can you be a tree? Well done. And another one I really like is not an animal one, but I do love this one. Let's see if you can try it with me. Can you be a star with your body, like me? Make a star. And now can you make yourself into a pencil? Can you do what I do? Well done. And now we do it faster. Can you go star pencil, star pencil? Let's try. Star pencil, star pencil. Well done, my friends. Great listening to our tricky yoga instructions. You can do what I do. Well done. Give yourself a clap. It's musical storybook time, and I've got a bouncy ball to sit on to tell the story to you today, because it's a bouncing story. It goes to the tune of, do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you like that song? Sing it with me, come on. Do you know the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man? Do you know the Muffin Man? He lives on Drury Lane. Isn't that a great bouncing song? Are you sitting on your ball bouncing too? I'm looking for my storybook. It's called The Magic Hat. Oh, thank you so much. Here it is here, The Magic Hat. I might come in a little closer. Can you see the pictures? It's great if you can. I love to do this storybook to the tune of The Muffin Man. 
and let me teach you the chorus that's inside and it's got some great rhyme in it that you can that will help you guess which animal is coming so we get to sing this part every time it goes like this are you ready to try it with me and bounce in time we say the magic hat the magic hat it moves like this it moves like that and if you're on your ball and you've got someone helping you they could move your body this and that at the same time try it with me the magic hat the magic hat it moves like this it moves like that and when we learn words through our body kinesthetic learning this and that if we move at the same time as saying these these words it really helps us learn them a lot faster so try that and see if you can guess the rhyme so the magic hat goes all over and it lands on people's heads and turns them into animals like this guy he gets turned into a toad because the rhyme before it was road so help your two-year-old discover the fun of rhyme as we listen to the story. Are you ready for me to sing the story for you now? You know what to do. You can bounce in time, sing the chorus, and see if you can guess the rhyme. One fine day from out of town, without any warning at all, there appeared a magic hat. Magic hat, the magic hat. It moves like this, it moves like that. It's fun through the air. Over a road, sat on the head of a. Did you guess it? Toad, magic hat, the magic hat. It moves like this, it moves like that. It spun through the air like a bouncing balloon. Sat on the head of a. Did you guess? Baboon, you're right. The magic hat, the magic hat. It moves like this, it moves like that. It spun through the air from way over there, sat on the head of a... Bear, well done! The magic hat, sing the magic hat. It moves like this, it moves like that. It spun through the air, it's true, it's true. Sat on the head of a... Kangaroo, good guessing! Oh, the magic hat, the magic hat. It moves like this, it moves like that. Spun through the air for a mile and a half, sat on the head of a this one. Giraffe. Oops. giraffe, mile and a half giraffe, and then with a skip, then with a hop, a wizard appeared with a sign that said, Stop, don't move. Everyone stopped, stared in surprise at the wonderful wizard with the sparkling eyes who took from his beard with a nod and a wink a wand which he waved. And what do you think? Well, the toad, the baboon, the bear and the roo, of course the giraffe all wanted to do, turned back into people, dazed and confused, watched by a crowd that was highly amused. <laughs> love, love. <laughs> While no one was looking, the wizard meanwhile skipped out of town with a mischievous smile. And there on his head sat the marvellous hat that made all